Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Slay the Spire. Apparently, the game just up just had a patch. See how great it is. I assume it's still going to be a great game. Sneko is our next opponent. I love the Sneck. He's the best Sneck that ever did Sneck. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Anyway, I want to go for the full upgrade there. And then we're just going to wail on him because that makes the most sense. 55 damage. Oh, look. A little bit more. That's a pretty good first turn right there. Took five cards. That's the closest I've ever gotten to uh, getting to the limit of this Velvet Choker. All right. Random energy for all of our cards from here on out. So what's worth taking? Infernal Blade will still give me a free card. And then I think uh, a Cleave. We could shrug it off and get another card, which will have a random... That's not very random. Card cost. Uh, oh, gee. Which one do I pick? It literally doesn't matter. I cannot avoid this 14 damage. Which sucks. I mean, we did mitigate it to six, which is great. Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead. Oh, no, this costs three to use. Okay. That's, uh, don't know if you've heard, but that's not worth it. I think we're going to go with Shockwave. Strike. And then I guess we're going to slam out Barricade, even though it's probably not going to help us in the long run here. Take a little bit of damage. Down to 48. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, defend for free is great. Two defense for, for free is even better. Might as well use armaments to upgrade anger and get that win. Yeah, we might as well get that win. Mm -mm. Anger's not really that useful to us now that we have this limitation on how many cards we can use. So, I'd rather be more careful. Ooh, or a Calium. If you end your turn without any block, gain six block. Cool. An ancient tea set for more energy whenever I have to sleep. Another Infernal Blade is tempting, but Body Slam is also tempting because it's practically free. Plus, with Barricade, it can, you know, combo. Vampires? No thanks. What else you got for me? A fight from enemies that are actually from the... From, well, the city. So they're from this area. Ooh. Eight damage. Let's throw down Armaments. Infernal Blade will be free, so we're going to play that. We get Heavy Blade, which doesn't do anything for us but damage, which is fine. I think getting rid of the Sentry is our best first move here. Depending on the next attack that we make. Give me something good. Or wait, never mind. We got it. He's done it. Too bad the uh, Seeing Red doesn't carry over to the next turn here. None of this does, so we might as well just throw it all away. See what comes up here. Obviously, 65 uh, defense is pretty nuts. Armaments, please. Bash them, please. Body slam them, please. Cleave them. All right. Going to take five damage. Probably take a weaken? A frail. Okay. I did not remember. Ugh. I want to cut them down as quickly as I can, but I also want to deflect as much of this damage as I can. All right. Eight damage. We're still okay. All right. He's going to actually buff himself. So, you know what? Shockwave. He still gets the vulnerable. Which is great. All right, going to take four damage here. And his block goes up to 24. We need damage. Armaments. For full upgrades, which means two body slams for free, a strike, and then a barricade, which is not going to help us right now, but hey, it is what it is. Okay. Pen nib gives us double damage. Ooh, let's shrug it off first. Anger. Nope, strike's better. <laughs> All right. Disarm, thunderclap. Disarm's tempting. Make the enemy lose three strength. It is plus as well. Hmm. Yeah, let's grab it. 24 is not too bloated a deck yet, I don't think. Secret technique for a skill. Heavy blade, headbutt, true grit, war cry, brutality. I don't like any of these. Lee's waffle. Raise max HP by 7 and heal all your HP. Are there any more? There are no more merchants. So you know what? Let's grab that waffle. 92 HP and a full HP heal. Yes, please. Especially against this dude. Malleable. All right. 
Upon taking attack damage, gain three block. Gets stronger every time it's triggered. Well, I feel like Shockwave is a great start here. And then we just wail on him. <laughs> Alright, and our uh, Oracalium gives us a little bit of block. Wasn't a fantastic block, but it was a little bit. Alright. Let's upgrade everything. And by everything, I mean anger. <laughs> Let's Juggy into defend. Anger. Slam. If you want to jam. Alright. Now we can go for a more defensive strategy, at least in theory. This Infernal Blade gives me a headbutt. Let's headbutt. From this headbutt, we're going to grab armaments for the next turn. We're going to shrug it off and grab armaments now. Then we're going to get to play Body Slam for free, and he's going to die. That's how you do it. I don't like any of these. Although True Grit could be tempting. Anyway. Three Cultist. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a fight this uh, this harsh before. That's some great starting damage. Alright, well, the Oracolium is not going to do anything for us there. Yeah, I assumed he was going to throw down... Uh, or they were going to throw down, excuse me. Three Rituals here. Give me a Cleave. Give me a cleave right now. That'd be awesome. Shockwave's good, too. Oh. Armament. Shockwave. Cleave. Nice. That was awesome. We're only going to take three damage, too. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. They're up to six damage. Let's see. I think we just go all out on this guy. Defend ourselves. And do some easy damage. Alright. It's going to do 8 damage next turn, which if we get another defend that's uh, upgraded, we will still be able to block it, which we do have. Uh, let's Infernal Blade. Get blood for blood, which costs nothing. Get that kill. We're up to full health, boy. Oh, I love Dropkick. Yes. We literally don't need health, so it's time to smith. Interesting group of cards we get to pick from here. Dropkick Plus will do more damage, but it's not really worth it. Barricade will become cheaper, which is great. Infernal Blade will become free. I'm going to go with Barricade. It's usually not worth it when I have to spend all of my energy for it. Ooh! The Bronze Automaton. Well, I could spend Barricade now. He's vulnerable. No, he's not, because he has the... Uh, that's right. He has the artifact. So let's barricade now, since he's not going to attack. Throw down Anger, because it's free. Throw down Bash to break his uh, artifact down a little bit more. Drop kick him, because we can. Strike him, because we can. I'll keep the Fire Potion until I think I really need it. Not sure what he's doing here. Two orbs. Okay, 14 damage from him and debuffs from the orbs. All right. This will probably be a good turn to cleave. Good turn to block. Good turn to disarm, which won't work, of course. I'm going to hold off on these. I want another cleave, baby. Stasis. Oh! Oh! They just stole my card. They took Infernal Blade and Juggernaut Plus. Oh, jeez. Well, now I'm seeing red for this Shockwave for free. That's right. Throw Vulnerable down on everyone. Shrug it off. <laughs> the fens were not what I was looking for here. What do I want more? Infernal Blade or Juggernaut Plus? I think I want Juggernaut Plus just a little bit more. So I'm going to try to grab it. Oh, I'd barricade. I should have thrown up the blocks. It's doping. That why are you dumb sometimes? What do you mean, just sometimes? Shh. All right. We're looking at... Whew, about 28 damage. That's going to hurt. Got 20 of it blocked. 10 damage to everyone. And boom. Mitigated some of that stuff. Oh, Juggernaut went straight in my hand. 
It's kind of hoping to go in my draw pile. It's all right. We're shuffling next, so zero damage. Look at that. Let's go. It's going to use anger on you. And I think we're going to give you a strike in here. And I think we're going to give you another strike in. And I think we're going to block, and then we're going to body slam you. There you go. Got my cards back. Should have used Infernal Blade. Not too mad about it, though. I'm more upset about 34 damage. 46 damage coming my way. I'm not going to shrug this off, so uh, let's do what we can here. Oh, boy. We've mitigated a little bit less than half of that. Hyper Beam! Oh, you Pokemon mother... Okay, he's confused. He's stunned this turn. So, we throw everything. We throw up both of these. Body Slam will do 32 damage. All right. I think we maximize the pen nib about as much as we could hope for. Could be wrong. 26 damage coming out from him. Thinking a Juggy is good here. Followed by an Armament and followed by a Defend. There we go. Now we can play defensively since we have both Juggernaut and Barricade up and running. That's exactly what I plan on doing. Bash him. Make him vulnerable for next turn. He's not attacking me, so we get to save all of this block. Look at a 32 damage here. We've mitigated all of it. Boom, boom. Alright, we've worn him down to almost half health. Alright, throw those down. He's vulnerable, so drop kick is free. Oh, and you a shrug it off. Beautiful. Let's see. Body slam hits a little bit harder. And then strike hits a little bit harder as well. And that's six cards. All right. That's the first time we've hit our Velvet Choker limit. Here comes Hyper Beam. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Inferno Blade, what you got for me? Headbutt. All right. Let's grab. Shrug it off defend as much as we can and the body slam 46 damage in total pretty good we we will survive this hit oh no and then all we have to do is get the kill so uh boom armaments to upgrade shrug it off yeah dude just give me all the blocks please no complaints here all right, he's going to hit me hard. But he's actually not. Because we're going to headbutt him. Beautiful. Let's see. Bludgeon, Limit Break, Barricade. I don't need another Barricade. I don't have any Strength Raising cards. Ugh, and I don't think I want Bludgeon. I'm trying to be picky with my card pickup here. Runic Pyramid, so I don't have to discard my hand. Mm, there are uses for that. Potions always drop. Choose, transform three cards and upgrade them. Let's go with that. Astrolab. I know I pick it up a lot, but still. Let's go with Anger, since I'm limited to how many cards I can play at once. Let's get rid of... I, I like the Cleaves. I really want to keep the Cleaves. Let's go with Dropkick. And then one of the strikes. So what do we have here? Searing Blow, which can be upgraded an infinite number of times, which is actually excellent. Dark Embrace, whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Not too big on that one, but it is a power. And Combust, at the end of your turn, lose one HP and deal five damage to all enemies. If that's blockable, it's great, but I doubt it is. Alright, back into the beyond where we tend to uh, end our journeys. Okay, just one Orb Walker could be manageable, unlike the last time when we fought three million of these guys, or at least that's what it felt like. You know what? Let's try Combust. Let's see if it allows us to, uh, to block it. It does not. It is definitely always HP damage. Okay. That's not great, but we have more than enough HP to uh, manage this for now. Uh, the Disarm could undo his attack buff. 
I feel like we gotta mitigate what we can and do as much damage as we can. I really hate fighting these guys. They're fairly annoying. All right. Hmm, Barricade is tempting, but Infernal Blade for an uppercut with weak and vulnerable, even better. Armaments for the upgrade on Body Slam. Strike. Pen nib for the next turn. Okay, a burn. Not too bad. We should be we might be able to kill him this turn. In fact, we should if we get anything that can hit. That'll do it. 32 damage. Yeah, that'll 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 float your boat. My boat, that is. All these are terrible. I think being picky is helping me out a bit. Because I'm noticing less garbage. Um, oh, wow. 152 gold for a relic. 152 is not a lot. Highly ornamented tomb can be seen on the other side of a floating path. Upon reaching the tomb, you notice a slot for gold coins with a scratched out inscription above it. The Tomb of the Lord Red Mask. You know what? Let's go. Red Mask. At the sort of combat, apply one weak to each enemy. An opening appears in the tomb and outslides a small red mask with a note attached. Take from others as I have taken from you. All right. Applying weak to everyone is pretty great for any enemy who decides to attack on the first turn, like this guy. Cleave is fantastic here. Needless to say, this is this is the kind of fight Cleave was made for. So thank you for giving me two of them. Throw down a defend. Throw down a strike on one of you. I don't want to bash. These guys, because they revive each other, I want to take them out almost as close to simultaneously as, excuse me, as possible. So we'll see if we can do that. Looking at 24 damage this turn. That's pretty rough. Let's see. Infernal Blade, what you got for me? Hemokinesis, 3 damage for 14 HP. Yikes, that's not good on any of these guys, really. I'd really rather play a defensive strategy here, so... I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to get his health down a little bit more. I'm not going to Hemokinesis, I don't think. Ooh! The block from the Orcalium prompted the uh, Juggernaut, too. That should not have surprised me, but it did. <laughs> Alright, well, I see what you want me to do this time. Just block my shit right up. And then body slam one of these boys. Oh, I have no way of killing the other one. Please tell me it takes him two turns to regrow. It does. We got this, boys. Nice. Anger's back. True grit is tempting, actually. Exhausting a card in my hand. But I don't think I'm going to draw more cards just yet. Oh, I hate this fight. I hate this fight so much. Let's just barricade and juggernaut right away. I like the Orcalium. It's working out pretty well for me, I'm not going to lie. This fight is just... Ugh. But I think if we play the defensive game, we might do okay. Although we're going to need a lot of blocks on this turn to make that happen. We, of which we got none, because of course we did. This is where you give me pen nib? Seriously? ay ay ay. Yeah, these guys. What in the world am I supposed to be pulling on these guys? What are you expecting from me, your game? I'm just not seeing it. This hand is terrible. <laughs> I guess I'll use Dark Embrace, and then use a Disarm, because it'll let me draw a card. And then I can cleave. Which was good, because it did double damage, but, uh... Oh, I could have drawn another one from seeing red. ay ay ay. Oh my god! I hate this fight! What are you supposed to do against those two? Unless you already have the perfect deck, which I don't, obviously. If I like new cards, though, Havoc. Play the top card of your draw pile and exhaust it. That's not that great. Sentinel. Gain five block. If this card is exhausted, gain two energy. That's pretty nice. Exhum. Choose an exhausted card and put it in your hand and then exhaust this card. That could be really cool as well. All right. So some, some options there. 
All right, that is going to be it for this episode of That Play Slay the Spire. I think we're going to go back to the silent after this episode and see what we can do with her. But thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more Slay the Spire. Thank you again for watching this episode. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.